Hey, what's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Guys, check this out. Today's video is a great red pill video for my younger subscribers. Older subscribers too, but especially my younger generation guys. I want you to hang in here and like this video. Smash that like and subscribe button if you're new here. Guys, we're going to be talking about girls on the rebound, okay? We've all heard it before. Hey, pick her up on the rebound. So-and-so got a girlfriend. He picked her up on the rebound. So-and-so went to a bar. He got laid. Picked this girl up on the rebound. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if a girl is on the rebound, put the brakes on. Stop. Same rules apply. You can hit it and quit it. You can smash and dash. Always use protection, okay? And when you're done, you flush it, okay? You don't just throw it away. Let me warn you about girls on the rebound. What happened to me was I went into this liquor store behind my house. And I've been going in this store knowing this girl for a couple of years that works there. And I've tried to get at her a couple times, no dice. My friends have tried to get at her a couple times, no dice. Will not show any interest, will not flirt, will not smile, nothing at all. Well, all of a sudden, I walk in this place and she beelines it right to me. And she goes to give me this hug and I kind of back up. And I said, hey, I'm covered in crude oil. I've been working in the oil field all day. I've got frack gel all over me. I said, I'm really dirty. She goes, that's okay, sweetheart. I have a washing machine. And she hugs me. And she goes, do you need me to come over to your place and wash your clothes too? And I'm like, whoa. I'm thinking, what has happened here? Then she proceeds to say, why don't you text me? Let me give you my number. Writes her number down on a sticky note, hands it to me. And this is happening just bam, bam, bam. I'm thinking to myself, what in the world is going on here? Then she proceeds to tell me that her rent is due and it's $800 and her car payment's due and it's $600. And that's when the light bulb went off in my head. So as soon as I got out of there, I called a buddy of mine that works there and I asked him about this particular girl. And he goes, oh yeah, she's on the rebound. She got dumped. And then that's when it hit me, guys. These girls on the rebound they are not looking for love. They're not looking for emotional support. Most of the time, they're looking for financial support. Guys, be aware. Don't get burned. If she's on the rebound, I don't care if she's single, divorced, kids, no kids. If she's on the rebound and she's got bills and maybe she doesn't have that good of a job or maybe she's worried about making a car payment, a rent payment, a mortgage payment, you need to be very careful. Otherwise, you're gonna be trapped. You're going to fall in the pit, you're going to get trapped, and you're going to wind up paying for responsibilities and bills that are not yours, okay? Another prime example, how many times have you seen a girl that's been married for six, seven, eight, nine years, and you know, maybe she's got a couple kids, and then all of a sudden the dad um, dies or something, and she's a widow, and then all of a sudden, you know, she's been off the market for 10, 12 years when you consider the time that they were dating and they're married, and then bam! Like four months later, she's got this new boyfriend. And then, bam, three months after that, she's got a ring on her hand. Come on, guys. It's not emotional. It's not love. Once again, it's not you they love. They love and they want what you can provide for them. It's not coming from the heart. Guys, if you're new here, smash that like and subscribe button. My name is Luke. We talk about girls. We talk about Mexico. We talk about relationships, beaches, red light districts all over the world, parties, you name it, we talk about it. Guys, until next time, peace out. We'll see you down the road.